Here's an example in which we are trying to find the measure of angle A using the law of cosines. So using this law of cosines, uh, first off, what is the law of cosines? Well, here it is from the exam. These are the, uh, or the, the notes, the uh, chapter 10, point one, two, and 8 notes for law of sine and cosine. Here's part 2, law of cosines. So there's three versions of the law of cosines listed right here. Basically, what they all say um, is that they all connect um, a side with the angle across from it. See, it's A with A, or B with B, or C with C. And then the other two sides are in the middle. So you can do it any which way you want. You can connect A with A, and then B and C will be in the middle. Or you can connect B with B, and A and C will be in the middle or C with C and A and B will be in the middle. doesn't matter. So you're, you're basically connecting an angle and the side across from it, right? A's across from A, like A's across from A with B and C in the middle. Okay, so let's do it. So we're trying to find angle A, so I'll write out the law of cosines, which is A squared is B. I mean, oh, yeah, how did I know which version to use? Well, I'm trying to find capital A, so I want to use the A version, this one right here. So I will do that. So a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc times the cosine of capital A. So now what's little a? Well, the one across from capital A is little a. That's how we set up these, that's how they set up these triangles. You can see that in the picture here, right? Across from a is a, b is b, c is c. So getting back to it across from A is A, so that would be 14 squared is, and the other two sides it doesn't matter, just whichever one, one of them is B, one of them is C, either order doesn't matter. 2 times 21 times 13 times the cosine of capital A, and we're trying to solve for capital A, so let's use our calculator for all this stuff, 14 squared, 196 equals 21 squared, 441 13 squared, 169 minus 2 times 21 times 13, which is 546 cosine A. Okay, so then add these guys together, 441 and 169, and that's 610. Okay, and then subtract 610 from both sides. And what are we going to get there? Let me see, 196 minus 610. I'm getting minus 414. These cancel. Is minus 546 cosine A. Then divide by minus 546. These cancel. Let me bring it over here. So um, I'll just make this 414, I'll just leave it 414 over 542, the two negatives make positive, right? Equals cosine A. Now, how do I finish solving that for A? Because I want, I want to get A alone, right? So what do I do? So this is the sticking point for a lot of people. A lot of people get confused right here, so pay close attention to this. What do I do? Do I divide by cosine on both sides, cancel it out? No, but I see that mistake made a lot. Why? What's so bad about that? It's It doesn't mean cosine times A, so you can't get rid of it by multiplying. Uh, sorry, by dividing. It's not multiplication, so you cannot get rid of it by dividing. That's not true. How do you get rid of it? You've got to do inverse cosine. So you've got to remember that's a function. It's not multiplication. It's cosine of it, like f of x or something. It's a function. So the only way to get rid of the cosine is cosine inverse on this side, and whatever you do to one side, you have no choice but to do the same thing to the other. And then these cancel. That's how you get rid of a, of a trig function. Sine, cosine, tangent. You do the inverse sine, cosine, or tangent. That cancels it out. That's why we studied inverse functions. Now on the left side, use your calculator. Cosine inverse of 414 divided by 546, I'm getting point, oh, wait a minute. oh you got to make sure you're in the right mode, uh, I, I was in the wrong mode, you got to be in degree, because they, they want these angles in degrees, yeah, degrees, so I just accidentally 
did the wrong mode, so that's why I got a decimal. So make sure you're in degree mode. I'm going to do it again, now in the right mode. So let's see, cosine inverse, 414 divided by 546. I'm getting 40.6906 degrees. I rounded 566. How many? Well, just one decimal place. Okay, so it's 40.7 degrees. Well, they already have the degree word there. 40.7. 40.7 degrees. So there's how we do it using the law of cosine.